Hello friends and family and welcome to the Thursday, July the 30th edition of the Crippling Anxiety Meditation Fireside Chat. It is also my birthday, July 30th, so happy birthday to me. <laughs> uh, today I wanted to talk about the concept of intuitive awareness and this is an idea that gets bounced around in meditation circles on occasion. And I wanted to make it uh, a little bit more accessible in terms of what I think that this actually is and what is the skill that we're really building up when we meditate. To some extent, the skill is awareness itself, simply awareness. Um, but the goal is similar to a bit of work that I'm doing at the moment. Um, and I would describe the goal as developing tacit knowledge. Uh, we often call these things that we can do without thinking about them tacit knowledge. So for me, those skills would involve typing, speaking English, riding a bicycle, swimming. I can do those things quite intuitively. At the moment, I am trying to learn uh, both Hindi and Pali and um, for the umpteenth time, both of them. <laughs> um, and speaking Hindi is an incredibly difficult task for me uh, because I have not developed the tacit knowledge of Hindi. I don't have a tacit knowledge of the grammar. I don't have a tacit knowledge of the vocabulary. And I have no intuition for Hindi yet. Um, and meditation is very much the same in terms of a skill that we need to build up with time. So what we were looking to do when we meditate is not simply to sit for 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes in the evening every day or one hour in the morning, one hour in the evening. We're looking to build on what we previously had established in our meditation practice. And this idea is that we have, we have established something by meditation itself. And that on Tuesday we meditated like this, but on Wednesday we will meditate slightly differently because of how we meditated on Tuesday. And this is more obvious when we're learning a language or a new skill like how to swim. When we find that, oh, before I couldn't speak Hindi and now I can speak Hindi. Before I couldn't swim, I would struggle and flail and now I can swim. Um, we can see other people swimming and we can say, oh, okay, that's what a swimmer looks like. Uh, it's, it's easy for me to understand that once I learn how to swim, I will look like that. With meditation, it's not so easy. <laughs> what is the goal state? Well, the goal state, ultimate goal state, is extremely high, high level. Um, and we're unlikely to achieve that within our lifetime. Uh, however, we are very likely to improve and continue to improve upon what we've built. And what we are trying to build is this idea of intuitive awareness, where if the skill itself is to be aware, um, in the case of Anapan meditation, it's awareness of the breath, then I'm aware of the breath, I'm aware of the breath, and every time that I'm aware of the breath, it makes it a little easier for me to be intuitively aware of the breath. Ah, yes, okay, I'm taking a long breath. I'm taking a short breath. I am feeling the breath at times and in places where I wouldn't have otherwise, um, thanks to my meditation practice. I may notice um, when I'm having an interaction with someone or when I'm in a situation that I find frightening or is perhaps dangerous, that the breath has become uh, disturbed and erratic. I'm noticing that now. Uh, intuitively, I have this ability to become um, unconsciously conscious of the breath itself. And this has further value um, in terms of what it is doing to 
our conscious and unconscious mind. But this idea of intuitive awareness is really only this, that we're sort of baking the intuition, that we're baking the tacit knowledge of how to meditate into our minds so that we are better able to meditate the next time we attempt it intentionally and the next time we need it uh, unintentionally. I will probably explore this idea further in future videos. I think that it is probably um, an, a concept which uh, takes uh, a little bit more time uh, to explore. And if you have questions about it, I'm happy to hear them and to talk through them. Um, and we can see if we can uh, unearth some meaning in this idea. I hope you're all taking care of yourselves and each other. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Goodbye.